Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to pop on and talk about adrenal fatigue, do's and don'ts, uh, when we're looking at working out and exercise. So um, these are things that we talk about in the 12-week challenge. Um, if you guys are not on the wait list for the 12-week challenge, make sure you go in the comments, get on the wait list. You do not want to miss out because there are little things that you may be doing like this that you think, oh, this is what's going to advance my health. This is what's going to get me results, but you're actually working against yourself in a big way. And this is one of them. I see this all the time. Seriously, all the time. I see this all the time from people where they're like, I'm, I'm doing all these good things. I'm, I'm doing the interval training, uh, but I'm not burning fat. Why not? And then we look at your Dutch test. We look at your, you know, dried urine test for comprehensive hormones and see, oh, you're in adrenal fatigue. That's why. Mm -hmm. That's why you're not getting those results. Yeah. Um, I do talk more about this information on my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. I also have more information on eating for your cycle and your hormones and everything else in my books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. And then my YouTube channel, or my podcast is called The Female Health Solution. So many resources for you guys to dive into to get started with this. Um, and a lot of the videos that I do, they come from questions from you. So if you have questions on something I talk about, if you have questions on anything else that I didn't mention, you can either put a comment below. Hey, Sherry, <laughs> you can put a comment below or send me a private message if you are not comfortable commenting, because again, I get messages from women all over the world every single day about things like this, that you're like, I'm trying to do this thing, but why is it not working for me? Oftentimes, it's not that you're not trying hard enough, it's that you're doing something that actually doesn't match with what your physiology needs right now. So that's what we look at and that's what we correct. So, adrenal fatigue. Here we go. Adrenal fatigue is essentially when your adrenals are burned out, just exhausted, toasted, and they have a hard time producing enough cortisol and helping you manage stress on a daily basis yourself. Mm, yeah, not fun, not fun at all. So one of the biggest mistakes women make is that because of adrenal fatigue, you gain weight, you're exhausted, and you think, gosh, I just need to get more motivated. I need to get my butt going. I've put on some weight and I'm tired. If I just work out harder, it's going to help. Yeah, that's what everybody says. Totally, totally. Mm. So then you start busting your butt at the gym and you start doing this interval training, intensity, all this stuff. And this high intensity interval training is fantastic unless you have adrenal fatigue. This will burn out your adrenals even more. This will prevent you from recovering even faster. Now I know what you're thinking, but this is this is the type of training that burns the most fat, right? This is what it all, everybody talks about this, this interval training. It's the most amazing thing. It burns the most fat. It does, unless you're in adrenal fatigue. If you're in adrenal fatigue, your body's actually not prioritizing fat burning. It doesn't care. It doesn't care about your metabolism because it's trying to get through the day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if a light bulb just went off for you and you're like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So keep that in mind. This interval training is fantastic. But if you have adrenal fatigue, nope. Worst thing to do. Worst thing to do. It's going to just dig you deeper into that hole of adrenal fatigue. So again, we test your hormones, especially we do, we do this in the 12 week link is in the comments there to make sure we understand what is going on with your body, your system, everything else. Yes. Um, other things that, uh, so what type of exercise do I do? What type of exercise do we do? Moderate exercise. You know, does it have to be intense? No. Do you have to sweat like crazy? No, you don't. You just have to do some type of movement, mobility, something like that. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe nothing longer than that because anything longer is going to kick off cortisol. Yeah. Now moderate exercise. Have rest days in between. Another big mistake that women make is that they work out daily. Oh, the more I work out, the more I'm going to burn, and that's how I be in fat burning, all that stuff. Oh, take a step back. The female body is not meant to be in fat burning all day long or every day even. And the way our hormones and our cycle works, that's not how our system functions. So to try and force that on your system, again, can actually kick you more into adrenal fatigue. Ugh. Yeah, which again, then when your body's in adrenal fatigue, it's not focused on burning fat at all. Your metabolism is not working like it used to or should, right? So working out daily sometimes is not the best thing. You need to have rest days in between. Sometimes it's one day. Sometimes it's at least two days. For some women, if you are really bad adrenal fatigue, you need at least three days in between. Yeah, you need at least three days in between. 
Uh, I had severe adrenal fatigue and can't work out longer than 25 minutes. Yes. See, that's the thing. It's not about just going after it. And it's not this certain amount of time. It is about making sure that you're getting your body what it needs. Mobility, exercise, absolutely, but not overdoing it. Overdoing it is the worst. It's like you thinking, oh, I have this bucket of liquid here and there's this fire. I'm just going to dump this bucket of liquid on the fire. It's gasoline, but it's liquid, so it should help, right? Nope. You're making it 10 times worse. You're making it worse. So make sure you're getting that recovery. The biggest key here for adrenal fatigue is you have to recover 10 times harder than you actually work out. I know sometimes it's like, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. This is like making my brain hurt because that doesn't sound like anything I've heard before or how this should actually go, right? This is exactly how your system needs to repair the adrenals though. You can't just keep pushing, 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 pushing and expect it to magically turn around. You can't outwork this. You can't outrun this. And that's what all these things are. Yeah. So these are, again, this is why I have the 12-week challenge. You work with your physiology, with your hormones, to shift and change things, to get your body functioning better so that you can do these things and actually get the right benefit. Again, it takes time. But once your body's functioning better, it's a whole different ballgame. You're living in a different system. Yeah. So making sure you have rest days. Um, and then weights with breaks. Weights with breaks. If you're doing weightlifting, again, fantastic to maintain that muscle tissue. Muscle is important. Uh, protein is essential for recovery, especially when we're looking at adrenals. So if you're doing weights, fine. Again, make sure you're getting a break in between there. Do not just do a set, do a set, do a set, right? Um, a lot of times it's really popular to do circuits like some type of circuit training. I'm going to do this set. I'm going to do squats over here. Then I'm going to go do lunges. Then I'm going to go do bench press. Or I'm going to do dumbbells and do, 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 do. I'm going to do three sets of each of them and just go one to the other to the other. Oh, well, it's, it's different muscle groups. So that's fine. It's different muscle groups. I'm letting my legs rest while I'm doing bench press, uh, right? No, not with adrenal fatigue. You have to give your system more time in between. Again, if you are jumping from exercise set to exercise set, you're not actually giving time in between for your system to recover, for that cortisol level to be mitigated and maintained. And you will burn your system out a ton. The science behind this, and again, if you guys want me to dive into this, I can, um, but I'll just mention it. It has to do with how uh, glycogen is burned in your muscle tissues. And when your adrenals are not functioning like they should, your muscles use glycogen differently. They repair differently. And your liver also stores some glycogen, but that gets taxed differently too when you're in adrenal fatigue. So it sounds like your muscles and your organs don't work the same way that they used to. So if you're not fueling for this, and if you are working out way too hard, you're digging yourself a deeper hole here. Stop trying to outrun this. It's not going to work. Rest repair is the key. You can still do things that are going to take you towards your goals, you just have to shift what you're doing. And the hardest thing, and this comes from somebody who I'm an athlete, very competitive. It's one of the hardest things to work out for 20 minutes and be like, this is barely, this used to be my warm up. Give me a break. <gasps> it's the best thing for your body and your adrenals, honestly. It is. And if you're wondering if you're doing it correctly, one of the things to track is your heart rate. Track your heart rate. Make sure your heart rate has an opportunity to come down to rest, to repair, and to recover. If you do a workout and your heart rate stays too high afterwards, I mean, it should take 15, 20 minutes to really cool down. And if your heart rate is still high after that, your body's not recovering very well. If you're not able to get that recovery in, in between weights, wait until you can. Wait until your system is ready to go again. Give your system the time. Does it take longer than to do workouts with weights? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. These are the things that are actually going to help you build the right functional health internally, working with your physiology to take you towards your goals. So you, you stop, you know, being frustrated and fighting your system. Start working with your body. So again, these are things we do in the 12-week challenge. Let me know if you guys have more questions on this. If you want me to dive into anything I've mentioned more, I'm more than happy to. Just leave a comment down below. And if you have any other questions, just let me know. Otherwise, have a great night and I will see you later.